Band Halep, confident of career rebirth. Welcome, esteemed tennis enthusiasts, to another spectacular episode of Forehand Frenzy. Brace yourselves for an immersive exploration into the compelling narrative of none other than Simona Halep, a tennis luminary who once adorned the pinnacle of the sport as the world's number one, securing Grand Slam triumphs, major tournament wins, and the adoring hearts of fans the throughout the globe in the process. Our journey today takes an unexpected turn, however, as Halep confronts her most daunting adversary to date, a four-year doping ban that has sent shockwaves through the tennis community. Join us as we navigate through the twists and turns of this legal labyrinth, delving into the peaks of triumph, the valleys of uncertainty, and the fierce confrontations that have the potential to reshape the very essence of Halep's illustrious tennis odyssey. The Doping Ban Unveiled our riveting saga unfolds against the backdrop of a seismic event that transpired in the tennis realm in September 2022. The International Tennis Integrity Agency, ITAYA, the vigilant guardian of the sport's integrity, delivered an earth-shattering blow that reverberated across the globe, the suspension of Simona Halep for an unprecedented four years. The gravity of the accusations is nothing short of staggering as Halep's actions were branded as intentional anti-doping violations. What catapulted this ban into the realm of unprecedented controversy was its entanglement with the prohibited substance Roxadustat and the revelation of irregularities in Halep's athlete biological passport. The implications of Halep's suspension transcend beyond a mere ban. It signifies a seismic tremor, an upheaval that sends shockwaves through the very foundations of tennis. The world was left in awe and disbelief as one of the sport's luminaries faced a ban of unparalleled magnitude. The ripples of this decision reached fans, players, and experts alike, sparking debates and discussions that rippled through the tennis community. Halep's suspension became the focal point of tennis discourse, overshadowing tournaments and casting a shadow over the integrity of the game. This unparalleled ban marked a turning point in Halep's illustrious career, threatening to alter the trajectory of a player who had once reigned supreme as the world's number one and clinched Grand Slam victories. The accusations raised pertinent questions about the essence of fair play, the complexities of anti-doping measures, and the vulnerability of even the most celebrated athletes to the stringent regulations that govern the sport. The tennis world, accustomed to the ebullient cheers and fierce rallies, found itself grappling with a somber reality a champion sidelined, and the sport plunged into an abyss of uncertainty. As we navigate through the intricate details of this ban, we peel back the layers of complexity, seeking to unravel the truth that lies beneath the surface of this legal maelstrom. Segment 2. The Stakes Are High As we fast forward to the crisp mornings of February 2024, the scene is set. The majestic halls of the Court of Arbitration for Sport in Switzerland become the battleground where Simona Halep confronts the most significant challenge of her tennis odyssey. This three-day hearing, reminiscent of a legal grand slam, transcends the boundaries of a conventional courtroom. It morphs into an arena in which every argument, every statement, and every piece of evidence becomes a crucial rally in the match for Halep's tennis survival. Imagine the weight on Halep's shoulders as she strides into this judicial arena, her every step echoing with the resonance of a storied career hanging in the balance. The CAS proceedings become the defining set, the deciding factor that could either extend the glorious chapters of her illustrious career or cast it into the abrupt obscurity of a premature conclusion. The stakes soar to the heights of center court during a Wimbledon final, where the world watches with bated breath to witness the outcome of this high-stakes duel. The tension in the air is palpable, mirroring the charged atmosphere of a championship point. Every legal argument becomes a precisely calculated serve, every cross-examination a strategic volley, and every piece of evidence a crucial baseline shot in this pivotal match. The players in this legal drama aren't armed with rackets, but with legal acumen, and the prize at stake is not a Grand Slam trophy, but the very essence of Simona Halep's tennis legacy. In our journey through these legal proceedings, we anticipate the pivotal moment when the metaphorical championship point decides the fate of one of tennis's most celebrated champions. Segment 3, Roxadustat and the Controversy. Enter Roxadustat, 
an unsuspecting but formidable compound that played a pivotal role in the tennis titan's unexpected downfall. Roxadistat, a banned substance celebrated for its ability to stimulate the production of red blood cells, emerges as the clandestine protagonist, casting an ominous shadow over Halep's otherwise pristine career. This chemical revelation becomes the linchpin, the point of no return, after which Halep's trajectory took an unwelcome detour into the tumultuous terrain of doping allegations and legal battles. The stage indeed was set, but this isn't a straightforward case of doping. It's a multifaceted saga that unravels layers of intricacies. Was Halep's encounter with Roxadustat a deliberate transgression? A premeditated choice to gain a competitive edge at the unforgiving apex of a ruthlessly competitive sport? Or does the narrative delve into the gray areas of inadvertent ingestion, spoilt supplements, third-party contamination, or other explanations? And if it does, to what extent does this blur lines between intentional and accidental consumption? The Roxadustat saga invites us to question the conventional narratives of doping in sports. It challenges us to navigate through the nuances, to discern the shades of gray that often get overshadowed by the stark black and white judgments we are often all too desperate to reach for. Was Halep a victim of her circumstances, innocently caught in the crossfire of a complex doping landscape? Or does the shadow of suspicion loom large over her career, fueled by the relentless pursuit of a level playing field in professional tennis? As we dissect the intricacies of Roxa Dustat's role in Halep's journey, we unravel a tale that transcends the boundaries of a conventional sports scandal. It's a story that prompts us to examine the very essence of fair play, integrity, and the high-stakes arena where athletes navigate the fine line between performance enhancement and inadvertent entanglement in the web of banned substances. While we are not party to every nuance of courtroom drama that unfolded in recent days, each revelation becomes a turn in the narrative, steering us closer to the truth behind Halep's doping ordeal. The answers may lie in the chemical composition, the intent behind its usage, or the systemic intricacies that govern the anti-doping landscape. We confront the complexities that define this chapter in Halep's career, raising questions that extend not only about her actions, but about the efficacy of the governing authorities which take us beyond the confines of a tennis court and into the realms of ethics, justice, and the relentless pursuit of truth. Segment 4. The Defense Unleashed as Simona Halep stepped out of the legal coliseum, having presented her case before the Court of Arbitration for Sport, CAS, the echoes of her defense resonated with unwavering confidence. In a post-hearing declaration that reverberated through the tennis world, Halep asserted, I had the chance to show my defense, and I genuinely believe that the truth is going to come out, and the day to be on court is going to be soon. Diving deeper into the intricacies of Halep's defense, a formidable legal team led by Howard Jacobs, a seasoned advocate with a track record in high-profile doping cases, spearheaded her battle for exoneration. Drawing parallels with Jacobs's representation of athletes like Maria Sharapova and other Olympians embroiled in doping allegations, the defense strategically navigated the labyrinthine legal landscape. Key to Halep's defense was the assertion that her positive test for Roxadustat was not a result of intentional doping but rather an unfortunate consequence of contaminated supplements. The legal team meticulously dissected the timeline, highlighting how, in the weeks leading up to the 2022 U.S. Open, her physiotherapist and coach recommended a collagen supplement, a seemingly innocuous addition to her nutrition plan. However, this seemingly harmless choice would later become the focal point of the doping allegations. Moreover, as the defense unfurled its argument, it spotlighted the role of Halep's biological passport, a sophisticated tool designed to monitor an athlete's blood profile over time. Revelations surfaced that abnormalities or suspicious results in the 2022 season triggered the ITIA's belief that Halep was likely doping. This added a layer of complexity to the case, challenging the narrative and steering the focus toward the intricacies of the biological passport system itself. The post-hearing confidence exuded by Halep also echoed her steadfast denial of intentional wrongdoing. The legal team skillfully navigated the nuances of her relationship with Roxa Dustat, pointing to inadvertent ingestion rather than a calculated effort to gain a competitive advantage.
Halep's insistence on innocence was reinforced by her coach, Patrick Murataglu, who publicly took responsibility for recommending the collagen supplement and emphasized its inadvertent contamination. The strategic layers that constitute Halep's defense are laid bare. The courtroom drama extends beyond the confines of statutes and regulations, touching on the complex interplay of athlete trust and supplements, the limitations of anti-doping protocols, and the delicate balance between innocence and suspicion in the high-stakes realm of professional tennis. The Unknown Verdict As the appeal hearing concludes, the suspense thickens, hanging like a perfectly placed lob. Howard Jacobs, Halep's legal virtuoso, hints at the uncertainty surrounding the top court's impending ruling. With bated breath, we await the outcome that could redefine not just Halep's career, but the very landscape of professional tennis itself. The career that hangs in balance. Simona Halep was peerless in her pursuit of tennis excellence throughout all of 2017. As a luminary who clinched Wimbledon and the French Open, not to mention many other tournaments, she now stands at the crossroads of destiny. If the ban stands, her tennis journey might be hurled into an abrupt twilight. So what lies ahead for Simona Halep? Will the Court of Arbitration for Sport render a verdict in her favor, paving the way for a triumphant return to the tennis court? Or will this be a swan song for one of tennis's most remarkable players? Stay tuned as we delve into the nuances of possible outcomes and the profound implications for Halep's enduring legacy. And there you have it, a comprehensive exploration of Simona Halep's gripping saga. The drama, the uncertainty, and the unwavering confidence of a tennis legend. It's a narrative that keeps us on the edge of our seats. As the tennis world holds its collective breath for the Court of Arbitration for Sports Judgment, Forehand Frenzy remains your go-to source for the latest updates. Until our next volley of tennis tales, this is Forehand Frenzy, serving you the best in the world of aces and forehand winners. Hit subscribe, like, and share, and we'll catch you on the next swing.